Guys, my eyes have been open. I did not realize how good ultra wide gaming is. And boy, let me tell you, it's fantastic. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Too Much Tech. My name is Kyle and today we're gonna be taking a look at this 34 inch ultra wide high refresh rate monitor from Alienware. So let's just get some basic specs out of the way because Alienware makes two different versions of this monitor. The monitor that we have today is the 2560 by 1080p, 160 hertz. It's 144 native, but in the menu settings, you can easily overclock it to 160 hertz without any effort. And is it buttery smooth? Definitely gonna need some beastly hardware to be able to run this monitor at a full 160 hertz but when you can do it it looks fantastic even if you can get kind of close just make sure it hits 100 oh my goodness it's so buttery smooth i kid you not high refresh rate gaming there is nothing like it all right so what are the standout features of this monitor so obviously like i said it has 160 hertz refresh rate has nvidia g-sync and then you've also got an ips display so your colors look good now i'll get to that a little bit later but the ips display i wouldn't put too much faith in this one. I'll let you know why a little bit later. Now, as far as gaming, this monitor, I definitely believe will give you one of the best gaming experiences that are out there on the market right now. As far as the design goes, of course, classic Alienware design, very industrial, but very simple at the same time. The bezels are thin. I like how minimalist the bottom chin looks. Um, and then you got the light up Alienware logo on the back of the monitor. It looks really, really cool. Speaking about lighting on the back of the monitor and also on the back of the monitor stand, you also have some LED LED lights that you can control in the software on the on-screen display. You got like 20 different colors that you can choose from. There's a light on the bottom and then the three lights that I mentioned on the back of the monitor as well. And so you'll notice it on your desk and you'll notice it on the wall behind your monitor as well. Another thing I do want to mention about the design and the build quality, the stand is rock solid. You're going to need a big desk if you want to have this thing on your desk and not use a mount. But if you do have it on your desk and you got a big enough desk, you don't really need to worry about the monitor wobbling at all. It's a very sturdy stand. It's huge. It looks kind of cool, but it does take up a lot of space. So I just want you to keep that in mind. The monitor stand is also height adjustable, tilt adjustable, and you can also swivel the monitor as well. So you shouldn't have any issues getting this monitor to your perfect viewing angle. As far as inputs go on this monitor, you got four USB ports, a headphone jack, an HDMI, and a display port. Obviously, if you want to get that 160 hertz refresh rate and be able to use G-Sync, you have to use a display port to connect it to your laptop or graphics card. When I say laptop, I mean like a pretty freaking beastly laptop, like also probably an Alienware laptop. Now, as far as the display quality goes, so window scaling in 1080p, it looks okay. On an ultra wide, I think the best resolution for an ultra wide monitor is 3440 by 1440p. Um, I just feel like the icons and the sharpness and everything scales a little bit better, especially at that larger size. Other than using it in Windows, using it in productivity apps like Photoshop and Premiere and things like that, which I don't exactly recommend because I wouldn't say that this is the most accurate IPS display I've ever used. But when it comes to games, games look incredible on this monitor. With that 160 hertz refresh rate and NVIDIA G-Sync, so you don't have to worry about having any screen tearing, this gaming monitor performs well. And I definitely do think that this is something that you should probably look at if you wanna get into, not competitive, because I don't think they allow people to use ultra wide monitors in a competitive setting, I don't think. But if you just want the competitive edge to pay Fortnite or Destiny or League of Legends or whatever you play. I think that this is a really good option that you shouldn't pass up taking a look at before you make your final decision and purchase your next monitor. Now, of course, you are going to need a pretty beastly rig to run this monitor. Probably going to need at least like a Core i5 or a Ryzen 5. And then I would say the very minimum graphics card that you could have is probably like a 1070 or 1070 Ti. I really recommend you have like maybe a 1080 or an RTX 2080 to run this monitor at the full 160 hertz and if you want to max out your detail settings especially in like these competitive games like fortnite and overwatch you're probably going to want to use at least a gtx 1080 or an rtx 2070 to be able to max those out and hope to hit that 160 hertz refresh rate now of course if you got a 2080 ti that'll easily take care of this and you'll be able to hit that 160 hertz most of the time in all of your competitive games and other AAA titles, you'll probably be hovering around the 140 to 150 range with everything maxed out. This would probably be the perfect monitor to have as a home gaming battle station that you can easily dock all of your leave at home devices to this monitor. All you have to do is just plug in a cable through the USB pass through on your monitor into your gaming laptop, plug in a mini display port or full size display port into your gaming laptop and you are good to go. You can have your mouse, your keyboard, your RGB mouse mat whatever else you got 
left at home plugged into the monitor so that when you get home and plug in your laptop, you are ready to go. So guys, if I had to nitpick this monitor for two things, number one will be the resolution of the display. And number two would be the colors. Both of those which are fixed with going with the high resolution display with the 3440 by 1440, it just costs more money. How much more money? Well, on average, that monitor is about 200 more dollars than this one. But I think that the 200 dollars is worth it. Let me give you a couple scenarios. So if you're only a gamer, the only reason why you want to purchase this monitor is just to have hands down the best gaming experience, highest refresh rate that you can get, I will go with this one hands down all the day, 100% of the time. But if you're using a multi-monitor setup right now where you have one maybe for color correction, then one for gaming, and you're looking to consolidate and save some space and just get one solid big ultra wide monitor to suit all of your needs, I would say go with that higher resolution monitor because at least you still get 120 hertz refresh rate from when you are gaming but you also get a little bit higher resolution and you also get a little bit more color reproduction as well i know they're both ips but there is a difference this one it i almost could not tell that it was ips like i, I looked up the specs and looked on the box i was like oh this is ips oh wow but it is curved so you know i get it yeah the colors are not great it's they're good definitely passable especially for games but this is 100 percent a gaming oriented monitor and it does that the best well guys i am going to go back to getting you guys some ultra wide gameplay on this monitor so you can see how it helped me in game and uh yeah i don't know i might throw some fortnite or destiny 2 or apex legends or battlefield or i don't know whatever i'm feeling at the time but uh probably fortnite but yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, hit that notification bell so that you get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Follow my Instagram over here and my Twitter. Be sure to share the video with anybody that you know that is in the market for a new gaming monitor because like I said, this one is uh, pretty darn good. I will also have a link to this monitor down in the description below if anybody is interested in picking this one up. And um, yeah, enjoy the gameplay in the background. Until next time, I'll see you guys.
Oh, clean here. Not one. Let's go! Let's freaking go, man. Thank you, old game, for you. Yeah, we got 16 aggressors. Oh, did you did you kill both those other guys? No, no, I'm talking about um. <laughs> yeah, those other guys. <laughs> Dude, I kid you not. I launch padded over there, and I seen him like hiding. I was like, holy crap! <laughs>